high six after Keegan Murray with his first bucket of the night. Average of seven. If you're Northwestern here, you want to have some good offense, some good pace, continue to run your actions. This is much better already. A dribble backwards to create space. Is that key? You know, it turns a, a turnaround jump. Elbow, Miller cut. And McCaffrey made that happen because he was able to get to that Big Ten area at the free throw line, collapse the defense, and kick it out. And you're right, Bohannon has to knock those. Have that in the game. That would have been a cheap foul on Jackson Davis, but he's made all the right passes. He's not forcing the action. And his teammates really have to just step up and knock in those open shots. So what that means is there is another warning like that on the side of Northwestern. Indiana would shoot free throws. Pipe coming in and just one of five so far tonight. Nance rising up. Hunter move and he's in double figures. To the point of balance scoring, Young is just the second player in double figures for Ohio State today. Make that the third. Towns and Liddell being the others with 11 points. And that shot. Their confidence. It's, it can be really daunting to want to play really fast against the Tom Izzo ball club. Back in with 15 minutes to play in the second half, Robbie. We'll see how he can move. And they can really use him right now. They just lead at 10. They're on a 6-0 run. Inside Nance makes Sometimes it's been on the catch, sometimes it's been on the dribble. There was a dribble. Great eternal. Ohio State has really cut down its turnovers in the second half. Ryan Young. But talking to Chris Collins today, he was talking about just how he thinks this suits his personnel better. They, they don't have guys necessarily at the end of the shot clock who can go and get their own. So this might be the best shot they get. Nice backdoor cut in. Good game last week against Oakland, 10 points, seven assists, and you're right, that was that was way out there. Nance on the drive. And if you're Northwestern, you're throwing double teams at Trace Jackson Davis. You put the zone against him to keep it out of his hands. He comes crashing in and snatches it off the glass. Over the top, Young able to catch and fit it. Kicks out, gains. Sign for Hawkeye fans. He needs to come out early and often and force the issue. He passes a little too much. You can see the strength of his game. First half, three for three from deep for Frederick. And he's one of those guys that when he rises up, you just expect it to go in. His injury is going to turn out to be, even though they, they won all those games, they lost one of them. That's going to turn out to be maybe the best thing that could have happened to him. Because now you've got Montez Mathis, you got Jacob Young, you have Ron Harper Jr. playing at such a confident high level on the offensive end of the floor. So some of the numbers of the Michigan State bench helping out big time in this ball game, keeping them in it. Right from deep at the clip of 43% on the year, and the lead is nine. It's fun to watch Big Ten basketball when you have so many shooters and weapons on the court at both ends. Both of these teams playing at a high level. So, 10 turnovers for Indiana, 12 for Northwestern, already above Northwestern season average. They've been taking really good care of the ball before tonight at 10 a game. Bowie short on the runner. There's Young. Strong rebound. Can't Foot boy, Jeff Cable. Illegal screen on your OB under. You don't want that turnover. Bowie for three from the wing. Splash. Just going right through his chest. Kithier, who has started every game for Michigan State, has not been an offensive threat. He really averages barely 10 minutes a game. One of the rotations that Izzo uses for that center and power forward position. Nance turn around jump on the fence.
opportunities because they have missed so many shots. Right, second chance points are that double-edged sword, right? Sometimes you get a lot of second chance points because you can't make on the first try. It's skewed. Uh, two points away from tying just settles at number 10 on the all-time Iowa scoring list. Well, look, it took me six years to get those numbers, Kevin, so I'm, I'm more impressed with him. <laughs> can take the lead. Chris Collins on the floor right now. Northwestern has to watch the six-man call. Here's Bowie. Adij lines it up and drills. That's great patience by Ohio State. You hit the post. Good things happen when you hit the post. Kyle Young with a little jump hook. That's by my count the third shot he's hit with that little jump hook inside in this game. Boo Booey. Transfers in the portal that particular year. Chose Michigan State over a number of different programs. His brother ended up going to Virginia. Here's Perrin defensively here in the second half. He's up to eight points. And always good on the glass. You see him with seven rebounds as well. Robbie Perrin on the floor for Northwestern. Adij, Ohio State C.J. Walker, because of the tip, Northwestern avoids the over and back. And Bowie in trouble, but that's what he does in crunch time. You've seen it now numerous games. Great move by E.J. Liddell. His versatility to be able to eat glass as Cop is hacked. Each team now with 15 turnovers. Chase on is just making it happen at both ends of the court. You got to keep your eye on turnovers. This is the time of game where you just can't have foolish ones like that. Cop, top. Anthony Gaines showing his leadership, not only on the court, but off the court. Well, they just backed off, Jordan. Good observation. They tried the zone for a bit, but Ryan Young carved up the zone. Playing inside, out. Adige turn. Tom Izzo goes back after this game. They're going to watch film, and he's going to say, look at this. You've drawn two. You've got a guy that's shooting the ball at a really high level. You have got to make this pass to Joey Hauser. Barry for three. Ty Barry. Drive and attack. It's just a simple jab step that was able to create an angle. When you get when you have an angle, you have the advantage. Suing has been a forgotten man offensively for a offense fade away. Went up. It was another great move. And then the best offensive rebounder in the Big Ten comes in and cleans up the mess. 14 points, seven rebounds now for TJD. Cock. Hit a couple threes early. They've been all over him since. That Dude, playing some cupcakes early on in the season that don't prepare you for a game like this, but obviously that didn't matter against Michigan State. Indiana played Providence, Stanford, and Butler all wins. Losses yeah. to Texas and Florida State in overtime. And if you're Northwestern, you can't turn the ball over, but you probably got to get out of that zone. Indiana's just sliced it and diced it the last couple plays. You got to get back to man-to-man -to -man defense. Audiz, who's been on the bench with foul trouble. Pretty well, but you got to hold out a little longer. And Race Thompson, second personal. See the note at the bottom Indiana and that defense, that pack line Archie Miller defense. Every po opponent, even the two losses below 70 this year. Nance controlled inside. Good. He may have gotten away with one. <laughs> but give the young man 16 points. Now here's Audige and finally post Aaron Henry. And just try to get him involved. Six points, two rebounds, two assists. And you're right, they're going to need more from him, especially in the second half. They're going to come back and make a game of this. Nance from Dick. Read it well. The pull up jumper. See if that technical by Jeff Capel fires up this pit team. Bowie. He's out, I'm glad he's out here. Yeah. It's another, you know, when you look, talk about Northwestern and why they've had success early on, it's because of the depth of their bench. They believe in everybody that's there. Also, Ryan Young in the game, number 15. For their time when the ball has hit the post and then rim cutting. Lisa Jallo has been really good off Ohio State's bench recently, and Ohio State's bench overall has been a strong suit for this team. Ryan Young on 
Kyle Young. Build that. Coach Holtman always, you know, says to us, we're a work in progress. Well, the work is getting better and better and better. You look at their leading scorer, Dwayne Washington Jr. on the floor right now. He's only got seven points today, and Ohio State still leads by five. That have their three-point shooting in the top 100, at least, of Division I basketball. But right now, they're at 162. They've been sub-200 the last few years under Archie Miller. Here's a three on the other. Made six in a row after starting 0 for 6 from the floor. Pete Nance, he can hit that shot. A little long that. 70 to 80 percent of those screens. So if you're Iowa, you have to force Boo Booey into the screen or he'll bring it right back, get in the paint, and collapse your defense. Nance.